Hi, on today's Top Tip Tuesday, we're going to be looking at X particles and the X particles emitter. So we'll be looking at when you're emitting from an object, how do you control the emission, where the particles are emitted from? We're going to be exploring some different techniques, including emitting from textures, emitting from topology, like height or slope of the object, and even using an X particles emitter fall off to define where on an object particles are emitted. So let's get the clock started and we'll jump in. Here's our scene then. We've got an emitter with a wind and a turbulence modifier giving us this look. So let's explore uh, different options of emitting from this scene object, this torus. We'll go to the emitter. We'll go to the object tab. Let's change the emitter shape from this default rectangle to object. That then enables us to drag in any object here. So let's get our torus, drag it in. By default, the emit from is set to polygon center. So if we hit play, now we're getting particles streaming out from the center of all of these polygons. There's lots of different options here for you can emit from the points, from the edges and more. But a very commonly used one is to get an even distribution of particles over the surface of an object. And for that, we need to pick polygon area. So we'll click that. And there we go, we've got the nice kind of surface distribution of those particles now, and that's working well. So what we're able to do is we can further define where on this object particles are born. Let's go to our emitter object tab. One of the things we can do is go to fall off and in the shape, change it from infinite to sphere. Then that gives us this sphere if we move this to a different part of our object, it will only emit particles from within that fall off. So that's one way of isolating those particles. But we can uh, do one uh, step even more sophisticated than that. So let's change that back to infinite, get rid of that fall off. And now they're being emitted everywhere. We can go to the topology tab and we could use the height of this object. We can use the slope, and we can use the curvature. So let's, for this, just explore height. So let's say we only want the top half of our polygons to be emitting these particles on the top of our torus. Well, let's activate height. The top of our torus is at 50 centimeters. So let's put 50 max, but then the min height is set to zero and this will be using the origin point of our torus. If I come down here, you can see, look, the origin is exactly halfway, right in the middle of our torus. So if I hit play now, we're only emitting particles from that zero height up to 50. So that's looking really good. And we can do more. We can refine this further. Let's just make our torus invisible and go back to our emitter settings, object topology tab. Now we can use this spline curve to define how many particles are emitted at different heights. So let's say that we want fewer particles emitted from the lower down bits so it kind of fades in. Well, all we need to do is get this spline and move this first knot down. And this means that at the minimum height of zero, we have far fewer particles being emitted. And as it gets closer to the top, of our max height, more and more particles would be emitted. And now you can see, look, yes, we've got the feathering in of those particles with far fewer being emitted here. So it's kind of had a feathering effect. So we don't just get that immediate stripe of particles. We can have that come in a bit more quickly if we move this along. Yep, so we're still getting this nice kind of fade in of particles at this lower down point. Okay, that's working really well. But we can go one step further. Let's say that instead of having this perfectly even distribution of particles over our torus, we want it to look a little bit more random. Well, let's use a texture to do that. So we're going to go to our material manager, double click to make a new texture. Here it is. We're going to put it onto our torus. Let's double click the material. And in the color channel, we're going to add a texture and we'll add a noise shader. Let's click on the thumbnail to edit it. We'll change it from noise to something more interesting like stuple. And we'll change the space from texture to UV. 
And now what we want to do is add a bit of contrast. So we're going to use the light and dark areas of this to define where particles are emitted. So we need to add contrast. Let's increase the low clip, reduce the high clip to brighten it up. So we're going to get something like this. And then if we add a bit of animation speed, let's say 0.5, this will then animate. Now to see this in the viewport, we need to go to the viewport settings and make sure that we've clicked animate preview to see that animation. Okay. And now we have got an animated texture on our torus, but it's not affecting our particle emission yet. So to do that, we need to go to our emitter object tab. And in the emitter settings, instead of emitting from the polygon area, let's change this to texture now we've got a new tab appeared let's click this it says which texture tag do you want to use let's drag it in we're emitting from the color channel so it's going to use the black and white values in the materials color channel and we've got everything else switched off so now when we hit play it's only emitting particles from the light parts of that texture and we're getting these nice thin bands and streams of particles we can move our pink material to the right, which means we see it again in our viewport. And there we have used a texture tag and topology to emit particles from our scene object.